thought you came here to bowl. Yes, I did. Then why are you leaving? You gave up on trying to convince Mrs. Carpenter to let you play? No, Patty, neither Zach nor I have given up on anything. We're just going to stop by Erzuli Frida. Erzuli Frida? What do you want with that place? What do you know about it, Patty? It's Oh god, I I wanted the skateboard. Oh, the map tells you the time. Good. It's it's 9 a.m. Okay, bye lady. The streets in New Orleans were a mess. All busted up and undergoing maybe. Yeah, there's no tricks, I'm sorry. It's built on a swamp, so the ground is soft. All it takes is some heavy rain to cave it all in. There were also a lot of places where large tree roots were pushing up parts of the asphalt and the sidewalk. Those bumps were dangerous even when we still had our car, remember? But this town is different. The streets are all paved so cleanly that we can skate along them without a care in the world. And there's hardly any trash or graffiti to be found anywhere. The Clarksons really do control this place. This is it. Better or worse, it's a good example of how allowing certain people to rise to power can have positive effects as well. A voodoo shop. It's a voodoo shop. Just looks like a dumb souvenir shop to me. Of course it does, Patty. You're much too young to understand the true value of such a place. Right, it, it, in we go. I hope I don't get fucking cursed. Freda? Alright, loading time. God damn it. I'm sorry, what? This is all kid stuff. It's just a bunch of charms. It's just a bunch of charms and what? I'm allowed to watch TV she even say and go it. on the internet, but I ain't allowed in here? My daddy makes no sense sometimes. You agree, right, Agent York? This is all just kid stuff. Look at this, Zack. All the mysticism of the no, deep don't, south don't curse me. gathered up into one quaint little shop. This is a hundred times more exciting than the FBI evidence vault. It's a vast treasure chest. So much to study, so much to learn. Um, what's up? <laughs> Thou art a seeker, and I see the object of thy desire. The fuck is that guy? <laughs> is that David? Um, doth this be what thou seekest? Yes, actually. This is exactly what I wanted. I could sell it to thee now. And only now. Surely fortune shall not bless thee with another chance. Dude, buy it. It's a gator with a hat. Purchase this. And know that thy wishes shall be granted. That's crazy. Even I can tell you're getting cheated, Agent York. I disagree, Patty. This person can be trusted. I've been studying people for quite a while, so I can tell. That figurine is connected to our future. Yeah, buy it. My price is true. What say thee? Yeah, 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 how much? $30? Cash. 
You gotta go? Alright. Good luck, Chili. I hope the, uh... Hope nothing eats you. I'll buy it. Thou art a man of refined taste. Dude, it's a gator with a hat. I'd pay $30 for it. I am loath to part with it, but twould be a fool's errand to keep it from such a keen-eyed soul. What's wrong with you? No normal person would ever buy a piece of junk like that. Not even at a garage sale. Are you saying I'm not normal? Marvelous, isn't it, Zack? What a treasure. I can't wait to use it. Use it? Where? How? Isn't it obvious, Patty? I'm going to put it in front of Mrs. Carpenter's house. <laughs> in front of her house? Yes. I'm sure this figurine will stop her right in her tracks. And that'll give us a chance to finally topple the Ten Maidens. Are you serious? Of course I am. And so is Zack. Aren't you? I'm seriously wondering if I should quit helping you out with this. Okay, so we can place it at night or in the morning before six. Got it. Wait, I can create a voodoo charm? But you're not Ezra. Verily, much shall serve thee well here. Oh, I guess he is. Boost bullets, elemental effects. Wow. Performance in mini games. Oh, I'm gonna need that. Boost skateboard abilities. Oh, I need that instead. Let's create one. Oh, but you need material. What the f Okay. I can see it. Thou hath I I understand slightly. Um Oh, okay. Whoa. That was close. Ah. Uh. Well, look at you. I'll stand in there like you're expecting me to apologize. Huh, it's your fault for not paying attention. Well, she's not wrong. What? Got a moment? Shamu, don't be sexist. Can't say I do. I'm in a hurry here. I won't take up too much of your time. I'd just like to ask you a few questions. I said I'm in a hurry, Pickerwood. Now get out of my way. Patty, who was that? Kalina Clarkson. PJ Clarkson's second daughter, and Lisa's mother. Zach, we've found ourselves a Clarkson. Oh, no, she's not here. My dolly. Oh, she's not here. My dolly isn't here. One of the key persons in this case just came out of the woodwork to meet us. Now things are really getting interesting. Isn't that right, Zach? Uh, she's missing a uh, voodoo doll. Hey, lady, you missing a doll? I, I can be your doll. My sweet little dolly. Oh, that's it. All right, well, bye. Good luck. Twenty two. Jesus fucking Christ. These people are Papega. Um I need the map. We need the one we need to go down and then Okay, so it's the M four. Oh, it's it's mission four, that's it. That makes sense now. Faster, yeah, yeah. Did you notice it yet? The streets in New Orleans were a mess, all busted up and under. 
ongoing maintenance. The city was built on a swamp, so the ground is soft. All it takes is some heavy rain to cave it all in. There were also a lot of places where nice pop it. I don't know what you're talking about. Parts of the asphalt. The game's working as intended. Those bumps were dangerous even when we still had our car, remember? But this town is different. The streets are all paved so cleanly that we can skate along them without a care in the world. And there's hardly any trash or graffiti to be found anywhere. The Clarksons truly do control this place, for better or worse. It's a good example of how allowing certain... God, I really do like traveling, though. Like, well. on a skateboard? Also, don't you find that southern people are remarkably friendly? Really? Even total strangers? Both here and in New Orleans, I've been amazed at how cordial everyone is. Is it just the way things are down here? Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. This game's working. This game looks amazing here. Maybe you should go to sleep, dude. Get get some rest. Fuck the world. Southern people friendly. I don't believe that. I don't believe it for Mr. one York, bit. That was mighty quick. The special agent does it again. <laughs> again. You sure don't waste Go any again. time. I bet my CLG's got a lot to learn from you. You are not a yeehaw. Yeah, that's totally fine, Raxby. Saturday. Uh, uh, by the way, Mr. York, looks to me like you aren't packing anything. I was on vacation in New Orleans before I happened to stop by here. <laughs> well, shoot, that won't do. Here, I got some I think you'll like. This guy's giving me a clock? Oh, hell yeah, brother. I call him Mr. Alligator. Badass, ain't he? Nah, that's a clock. It's a tranquilizer gun. Oh, for damn the it. It's a gator clock. And here's a radio. With this, you won't have to worry about any expensive roaming fees. Might take you a while to get used to him, but you'll get it. Try letting him rip a few times. Ain't no need to hold back out here. Point gun with the what we could fight dogs. Take that doggo. <laughs> About to shoot up a dog with some tranquilizers. Hell yeah, brother. Hmm. Now this is an intriguing weapon. For a tranquilizer gun, it really packs a punch. But I'm afraid I'll decline. After all, this town is peaceful, isn't it? Well, sure is peaceful. At least the humans are. Are you going to tell me that I have to fight a gator at, at some animals? point? <laughs> a different story. Uh, remember what I named it? There are some real mean-ass gators out there in the swamps. And every now and then, they wander into town. <laughs> Shut up. One of them even went and ate a kid once. It happened a long time ago, but still. One chomps all it takes. They swallow down every last bit of you. Poor kid's parents didn't even know what to put in his coffin. The worst part is, that taught the gators just how tasty we humans are. So now, those suckers just attack on sight. Oh my god. Man-eating crocodiles will feast tonight. In Blood Swamp! No you didn't, shut up. You know he's fibbing, right? Gators don't attack folks. I never heard about no kid getting swallowed by a gator. Actually, Patricia, you're wrong. I'm what? Alligators do attack people, and it could happen in any town. Huh? What? Alligator, 1980. Directed by Louis fuck. Teague. Fuck, fuck. It takes place in the Midwest, I believe. A teenage girl's pet alligator gets flushed down the toilet. Then, in the sewer, it feeds on the corpses of dogs that were used as test subjects for an experimental growth formula. After growing over 30 feet, 
it finally starts to go after humans. It's an extremely... Yes, an extremely edifying movie. Yeah, that's the word. Back when I first saw it, I had a pet hamster. Hey, Agent York. What's your first order of business? You're in charge now, remember? Well said, Patricia. I nearly lost sight of my true goal. Melvin, I couldn't help but notice the name on the side of that truck. This facility is connected to the victim, isn't it? Oh! Oh, right. Yeah. I reckon I better start from there. I'm gonna tell it to you straight right from the beginning, Mr. York. Oh, boy. As you guessed, this warehouse is run by the Clarksons. The victim's father, Danny Clarkson, is the one who manages the whole place. What about Kelly? Okay, but why did he choose to store her body in his own warehouse, right? Well, that's because there ain't no other place to store it. Our town has a clinic inside a church, but no more. Whenever someone kicks the bucket, we just bury him in the graveyard right outside of town. But not this time. We got a murder on our hands this time. We need to give Lisa's body an autopsy and keep it stored, right? So we had no choice but to rent out a corner of this warehouse. I see. So that's what led to the ingenious choice to store the victim's body in a facility that her family owns. Anywho, this is where the real story begins. Truth is, a few days before you got here, Lisa's body went missing. Missing? Yeah. All of a sudden, Oof. Did you leave the warehouse unlocked? I most certainly did not. I locked the whole place up and made sure no one could get inside. No one stole the original key, and I couldn't find any fingerprints at the scene. So, in other words, this is a locked room mystery. The body of a beautiful young girl walks at mid- I- Hey! All right, all right, CLG. Reckon I should have told you about this earlier when you first said you wanted to come here. <laughs> it just didn't seem like the time or place as I remember. Anywho, how about we call it a day and head back to my office? You can go through all the files there. No, thank you. This is what I came to investigate. But Lisa's body isn't here anymore. You sure? That doesn't bother me one bit, Melvin. You see, I met a skeletal gentleman on my way here, and he was kind enough to give me an oracle. Yeah, let me in. By the way, Patty, what do you usually do when you're at home? Is this an interrogation? Oh, no. I just figured that since we're working together now, it'd be a good idea to learn a little more about you. Should an adult male like you really be asking a little girl this kind of question? Actually. I feel like I heard a story about actually, this sort of thing on the news once. Actually. There's a time and a place for everything. You know exactly who I am, and I've also introduced myself to your father. Besides, you're the one who said you wanted to come with me. I was just kidding. Jeez. You're an FBI special agent. Why would I ever need to worry? You shouldn't automatically trust someone just because they're an FBI special agent. One's profession and one's personality are completely separate things. For example, one special agent may fall spiritually in love with a genius criminal who enjoys the taste of human flesh. That's Hannibal. You pulled that straight out of a movie. Just because it's a film doesn't mean it isn't deeply rooted in reality. You can't judge people solely based on where they work or how they look. You need to think hard and decide things for yourself. Fun. So, allow me to ask you this. How do you feel about me? I don't know. I only just met you. <laughs> exactly. Now it sounds like you're thinking. You should never feel the need to force an answer out or pretend like you know something you don't. Zach, she's a good kid, isn't she? Honest and straightforward. Oh, wait, there's one thing I can say. Oh. What? When you talk to yourself like that, it really creeps me out. Did you start doing that after you became an adult? Or have you just always done it? Either way, you should stop doing it. It's really weird and, like, makes me wince whenever I hear it. Ooh, Zach, did you hear that? No need to worry. Neither of us are weird, I can assure you of Do that. Do you see what She's the fuck is going on? probably just having trouble finding the right word to describe us. No, I think I'll stop there. 
wouldn't want her to think we're getting desperate. Like I said, it's really creeping me out. This game is, is amazing. It is officially amazing. I am... I am... Working as intended. <laughs>